So if this spirit is accessed into your life as a, a result of a broken hedge where there's no consecration, then there needs to be a repair. So we want to shut that door, right? So we know that God has given us the armor of God. And, you know, and so we need to pray. And, and that's why we read the word. That's why we worship. 2 Corinthians 2.11 says um, to keep Satan from taking advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his schemes. All right, so here's where I want to go. So I don't want to be ignorant of the scheme. So we, here are some symptoms, all right? Loss of passion to pray and worship. That's the main one, I'm going to tell you right now. Weariness, hopelessness, perpetual lack, stagnancy, strange accidents all the time. I'm telling you, I've had a lot of these. And, you know, but we learn how to war through it, right? It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're evil. It just means you're under attack. And it means that you're going to kick his butt with the blood of Jesus and the word of the Lord. Double personality, like where, you know, it's like the evil twin comes out, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, some respiratory disorders. So, now, again, some. I didn't say now if you have a respiratory disorder. But, you know, what's the big deal? You know what gets me? Christians make such a federal case out of, oh, my God, we're talking about demons again. Yeah, guess what? You get oppressed by them. The enemy comes in like a flood, seeking whom he may devour. It's something that is so real, and most of the church denies it. How can a Christian have a demon? You can have anything you want. Your spirit man becomes born again when you're born again, not your soul. We have to get our soul healed. And, not, and please hear my heart. It's not all demons. Most of it is soul, you know, soul uh, healing that we need. But if there is something there, get it out. I don't want it. So, you know, some respiratory disorder, easily hurt or offended. Um, uh, what did I write? Accuse you of not being a loving Christian. Uh, that, oh, that's my own hieroglyphics. Doesn't look at your own behavior, right? Talks about you. Manipulate. This assignment of the enemy would rather you lick your wounds. This is the truth. Constantly talk about it. How many, how long are we going to keep talking about this? What are you doing about it? Right? Lick your wounds, complain, gossip, not forgive, distract, distract you. It wants to keep you in bondage and squeeze the life out of you. I don't know about you. I don't want to lick my wounds, blame everybody else, and, and be distracted where I'm living a life of defeat. What's, let's look at the fruit. Where's the fruit? Has there been improvement? Are you moving forward? What's the fruit? That's when I look at my life. I have to look at me first and say, okay, this is what you're doing wrong. Stop. Or, you know, you're getting to, uh, you know, uh, where your, your focus is off of God. or You know, and the beauty of him is that he loves us so much, he's not mad at us. He's saying, look, I'm, I'm letting you know this stuff to help you. I want you to be the, that, you know, that militant, warring, you know, fire-breathing individual that, you know, that walks in and the atmosphere changes. That's for every one of us. But he limits us, he lies to us, and because of our own soul issues, a lot of times we listen. So God is saying today, that's going. When I know that I come under attack with that, I, you know, I, a lot of times, I, don't, I have to be honest with you, I don't really even think of it right away. I'll just think, what in the world? Or just think it's me having a bad day. And then when it's continuing, it's like, wait a minute now. Lord, I just take authority over this thing in Jesus' name. Lord, it doesn't mean it's in you. You know, all I know is that it works. I've been doing this a very long time. Take authority over, plead the blood. I'm reading the Bible no matter what. You're not going to stop me. I'm reading it because I have a brain. I have the mind of Christ. Therefore, I can comprehend what I'm reading. Don't lie to me and say that I can't understand the Bible. I can understand it. Get a version that works for you. But you can hear and you can read. You can read the newspaper. You can read your, if you're on your job, the manual that's telling you what to do. That, don't listen to that lie that you can't understand the Bible. Sorry. All right, so anyway, so God wants us free. So I want us to just, we're going to pray about if any of us are feeling stagnant, if any of us have been hindered in our prayer life. You say, but you don't know what I'm going to. I'm having problems at home. I get all that. And you know what? And the Lord knows that. And I'm not minimizing that. I really am not. But I want you to know that he's on our side. The Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? He's on our side, working with us to help us. So I'm going to ask you to stand. Psalm 32 says, God can surround us with songs of deliverance. Psalm 129.4 says, but the Lord is righteous. He has cut me fr free from the cords of the wicked. We are not running from the devil. 
We are not in that place of defense. We're on the offensive, and the enemy runs from us. He just doesn't want us getting a revelation of who we are. Amen? And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We have that Spirit in us. We have the Spirit of the living God in us. Amen? So, I'm going to just pray. Well, actually, you know what? If you want more, if you want to accept that challenge, like God is commissioning us. He's saying, how many of you want to be that militant prayer warrior? I'm up there. I really am. Come forward. Just come forward. We're going to pray. Because God is commissioning the church at large, all of us, to be people of prayer who know they're God, that we're seeing great exploits. I want it. I'm like, my, my, my heart is like flint. I mean, uh, my, it, like a laser beam before God. I'm like, God, I don't want to stay where I'm at. I'm not happy with where I'm at. I'm dissatisfied with where I'm at. Not because I'm, I'm failing or anything. I, I know God has more. I want it. And so God wants to, to visit all of us in a greater way, right? So I'm going to just pray. So I did write something out, but we'll see how I go do this. So, Lord, we just worship you. And, we, Lord, you see each and every one that's up here. You see all of us here that are crying out to you that we want more. And, Lord, you're, you want to bring us into, you said to, this is what the Lord said to me. And he said, it, he said it a while ago. He says, I'm bringing people into a dimension of prayer that you've never experienced yet. Well, I want it. And so, Holy Spirit, we thank you that you're releasing your travailing anointing upon your people. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you've given eyes to see. You've given us ears to hear. Lord, you've given us a heart that knows you, that our heart is in synchronization with you, that our heart be beats with your heart, oh God. Lord, our, Lord, forgive us where we've been stagnant where we felt dry, where we felt our breath taken away from us, where we have felt like we're, we're not walking in victory. God, we repent. And, Lord, I do take authority over a spirit of python. I break that assignment of the enemy off of us where the enemy tries to just shut us down. I bind that spirit of witchcraft. I bind that spirit of python. I bind you and render you ineffective and powerless. And I loose freedom. I loose the spirit of the living God in Jesus' name. Father, we just pray, Father, that you've called us to be people of prayer. You've called us. You said, my house shall be a house of prayer for all nations. Lord, we are that. Lord, you've called us to stand and to believe that you will give us the nations for our inheritance, oh God. Ethos, our, our family, our neighborhood, our regions, oh God. God, we say remove the scales off our eyes. Forgive us where we have believed the lie at times of the enemy that says that we are not making headway, that we are not making break breakthrough, that we're not seeing change. Well, Lord, we just thank you for your mighty prevailing prayer that you are raising us up as fire torches and fire brands for your kingdom that father you're calling us and commissioning us this day to be the militant prayer warriors that hear their god and do great exploits oh god ho oh, that's for all of us lord the spirit of the Lord God says he is renovating he's renovating our spirit man today he's setting us see in ways that we have not seen before he's allowing our hearts to rise up and he's breaking scar tissue off the Lord says, the Lord says, watch and see what I will do as you take that time, as you press into me. And Lord, I repent and I, and we pray here where we have a religious mindset. God, forgive us for being religious where we got so caught up in the letter of the law, not in the spirit. God, we just thank you that you're causing the rivers of living water to flow, to flow in ways, the rivers, the rivers of healing, the rivers of deliverance, the rivers of prayer, of travailing, wailing prayer, where we are crying out to God, just like you did with Reese Howells, just like you did in Argentina, and revival took the nation. You are calling your people to travail and rise up in prayer. And we say, yes, oh God. We say, yes, oh God. <laughs>